What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here to do a review of a very uh, unloved line of figures, which uh, I don't know why they were unloved, maybe it's just the obscurity of some of the figures that were released, but I'm talking about the GNU line from Yamato. Uh, this is number 8 from their collectible action model line of GNUs. This is Galactic Whirlwind Sasuriger. And I paid a whole whopping $10 ship for this guy. And I think when they first came out, they were probably, I'm going to take a guess and say they were probably around 3,000 to 4,000 yen. Uh, I haven't quite looked to see what they went for, but I'm assuming around there, maybe even 5,000 yen. Uh, I don't imagine much less because they are pretty well built and detailed. So I'm assuming these were pretty pricey when they first came out. Other uh, figures in the line included Baldios, Ghost Shogun, um, I can't think of... Oh, oh, there was a Machine Robe with a Ken Ryu, a uh, couple of other ones, but mostly unloved because they have all gone on clearance. And I'm talking deep discounted clearance. I mean, like I said, $10 shipped. The shipping, what, 5 bucks maybe? So, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so this is Sasuriger, very cool figure. Um, let's just get the box out of the way. It's got a nice photograph here, a little oversaturated photo, which kind of looks cool. Uh, the GNU Do, uh, Galactic Whirlwind Sasuriger thing going on there. And over here, it has a very revolting y looking uh, side panel. What these consisted of, uh, and I did the Baldios one, I did it as an unloved robot review, uh, which is true. A lot of these were unloved, people didn't buy them. But um, I explained a little bit about them, but basically they use frames. And these frames, it's a very excellent idea. I mean, uh, they're not those fidgety revolting joints. They're just multi-piece joints, almost like you would find in a Gundam kit or something. Very highly posable. And then what uh, Yamato would do is just uh, devise panels that go over the frame to create the actual robot they want. So in this case, Sasuriger. And you'll see right back here. Uh, it's got some photographs of him and very, very limited in accessories. You get one optional hand to hold the uh, blaster rifle and the actual blaster rifle. Then a bunch of uh, Japanese that I can't read to you guys. And if we take a look right up here, you'll see a steam engine. If it focuses, you'll see a steam engine. I'm assuming that's the logo there for Galactic Whirlwind Sasuriger. And the uh, steam engine theme carries into the robot. Now, I'm not going to get into his backstory. I probably will just put uh, little notes at the bottom in the description. Don't know too much about this guy, but I, I just love the design of the figure. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And it's a little weird. At first, you know, uh, I passed up on this guy many times that I saw him because I just figured it was a crappy figure. But uh, getting to know the line a little bit better, I know otherwise. So I figured, hey, this robot uh, seems unloved. It's been on eBay forever for 10 bucks shipped. So I jumped on it. And, you know, uh, knowing already that these figures are great, I knew I was not going to be disappointed. And I am not. Uh, what I love about these figures, they're obviously mass-produced figures. Um, and the reason I don't think these figures were cheap when they came out is the paint apps are some of the most incredible, sharp paint apps I've ever seen in my life on any figure and uh, I said the same thing about the Baldios, the Baldios is just amazing the edges of the paint aren't fuzzy everything's super sharp, the sculpting is really nice to finish, everything is just excellently done uh, is excellently a word or is it more excellent or very excellent, I don't know, whatever, anyway it's made in China, it's a Japanese uh, brand toy and you'll see the steam engine theme also carries here, this is probably the, the front of it uh, you see the um, the wheels here, the old school uh, steam engine uh, wheels and what I like here is those things that go back and forth the um, the things that uh, get all the wheels to spin together that you know the choo-choo thing I don't know what it's called guys but uh, it's right here and it actually moves in and out as you move it now since I am showing you the articulation right there might as well continue we're gonna start off with the head you have the head here the neck uh, moves I believe if I'm not mistaken it looks like the neck moves uh, separate from the head. You have these shoulders that come out, and you got movement this way. Uh, you have the elbows, which are double-jointed, but uh, due to the design, it's a little bit limited. 
and you do have the swivel and you have the hands. Now the hands are the old school kind of robot looking hands which which is not too bad. I prefer those rounded human style hands but not too bad. And then you have these um, skirts here which are kind of stubborn. They don't really I actually thought they didn't move out of the way but they do so you can get a um, good amount of movement there. And I like the way they did this recess here on the back of the thigh so you can get you know the, the need to bend more than uh, than it needs to go. And got a couple wheels here and let's see you do have the swivel this way and then you have the toe uh, that moves separate from the ankle here so there's a lot of movement and you'll notice I just popped it off but uh, you can see the peg how that design is used so it's it's actually really well done and I was telling you about the the panels so we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can pop one of these off right here so the base for this was actually incredible to me because the um, what do you call it the options are seriously almost unlimited you can probably put any kind of panels on this uh, I mean uh, I wish this line would have continued I wish a lot more people would have jumped on it and maybe it was a licensing thing um, you know a lot of these robots were obscure I'm sure a lot of you uh, have never run across this guy and a lot of you probably think it's ugly and that may be the whole reason the line really died I think the the, the only well-known ones were Baldios and Go Shogun but imagine they can uh, you know put panels of this guy which is falling apart of course now that I want to show you but imagine they could just make panels uh, you know of let's say Die Ruger and you can put them on here or, or Lion's Force Voltron or Go Lion whatever they can the, the possibilities are just staggering what you can do with panels that pop on to a very nice uh, framed figure. Now I did want to show you this. Uh, the fist is separate from the blaster but I have it preset so we don't have to fumble around on video and just pop that off and here's another thing. See? Pops right off. It's just you know parts just come off and tab in and slide off. Uh, let's see if we can do this. So we can slide that off. You see that? So you can, that's, that's just showing you again all the things you can do, uh, you know, with this. So we'll go ahead and pop this hand on. Goes right in rather easily. Nice firm pop. And there he is with the blaster. Now, uh, you know, there's really not much else to say about this figure. I do recommend picking one up no matter how obscure. And actually this popped out of the side here. Just goes right back into the skirt there. No matter how obscure the figure is, I do recommend picking one up just to test it out. I mean, they're cheap, and you will be surprised at the detail. And again, here, look at these panel lines. They're so sharp in there, and they're, they're hand, they're hand uh, placed on there. It doesn't look like a machine did them, but they're just really smooth and sharp. So definitely try and pick one up. Doesn't matter which one. They're all based on the same frame. Uh, just pick one that you like. It's cheap. Uh, I, I definitely urge you to you know check them out. Um, who knows? Maybe there'll be a resurgence of this at some point with some more popular figures. But I think that will be it for now, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, or else he will shoot you right in the pee pee hole. And until uh, next time, guys. Bye bye.